teacher. Yes.
Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good night. Good night, teacher. Hello. How are you today? Good news or bad news? Hello. Or no news? How was your day today? Nice to see you. Welcome to your favorite class. Hmm. I'm sorry, yesterday, wow, it was a mess. Yesterday, a lot of problems. I'm going to tell you a little bit. Uh, yes, in one, two, five seconds. My computer, my computer broke down. Se me arruinó mi computadora. Um, so, I was using, I was using another computer yesterday night. Estaba usando la computadora de mi sobrinito. La mía se me había arruinado un día anterior. Y lo único que estuve haciendo fue recuperar archivos. Entonces estaba usando la de mi sobrinito anoche y no me di cuenta que la memoria la tenía full. Y por eso fue que no se podía grabar la clase anoche. Um, y como no se puede um, dar la clase sin grabarla, Quise cambiarme de computadora porque tengo otra. Aparte de la que se me arruinó. Tengo otra, pero esa no tiene batería. Necesito tenerla enchufada. Logré conectarme, pero en esa no estaba actualizado el, el Zoom. Entonces comenzó a actualizarse. Y en esta computadora no tenía los, los links, los archivos. Oh. A mess. A total mess. Oh? No. It was a mess. Un caos. Yes, chaos. Y me tomaba tiempo, por eso decidimos reponerla el viernes. Don't forget it. Please. We're going to have classes on Friday. Okay. Friday, Friday. Let's see, we're going to begin. Um, let's see. But I cannot find, oh, this one. <clears throat> Tampoco tuvo clase, dice el de la de 9 a 10. Sí, ya para esos minutos uh, cortamos con ustedes y la computadora ya estaba actualizando el, el Zoom. Sí, a, la, a esa hora ya pude conectarme. Luckily. <coughs> so I didn't have problems with the second group. Okay.
Can you see my presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh. Okay, conversation and invitation. We're going to practice how to make invitations today. <clears throat> okay, so let's begin. I'm going to read again the conversation. You listen. Yes, <laughs> El compañero tiene gusto. Atrás, bebé. No, filtro. Vaya. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Pay attention. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8. At 8. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Once again, I'm going to read it fast. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. What time does it start? At 8? That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at 6? Oh, I'd love to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around 7.30. Okay. Let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. New words, new vocabulary. No new words. Okay, what is soccer match? Soccer match. The soccer mm -hmm. match, um, el partido de fútbol, el soccer match. Juego de fútbol. No es fútbol, soccer. Creí que era fútbol, soccer. I mean, match, la palabra match eh, sería como el encuentro. And we use eh, soccer. Right. Thank you, teacher. The stadium. The stadium. The stadium. The stadium. Uh -huh. The stadium. The stadium. The stadium. Oscar Quiteño. The stadium. Mágico González. Uh -huh. The stadium. Camp Nou. 
Yes, those are stadiums. Stadios. Stadium. Stadium. What else? New words, new expressions, new vocabulary. Pronunciation. Something's wrong with this platform. I don't know what's going on. I don't like Zoom. <clears throat> so I'm going to present again. Okay. Um, no sé, será, será como tengo configurado. Creo que nada más paso el cursor por una pestañita y se me cierra el zoom. I don't know why. Okay, so, two volunteers, Dave and Susan. Okay, Hazel and uh, Paulina. First, uh, Hazel, you are Dave. Paulina, you are Susan. Go ahead. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. What would you like to go? Thanks, I love to. Times does it start? At the H. Want to have dinner at six? Mm, it like to, but I have work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Nice. Really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sonia and Katia. Sonia, you are Dave. Okay. I had tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have to dinner at six? Oh, I did like two, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's do meet at the starting before the match around seven. Okay, let's meet at the gate. See you there. Um, listen to this, the pronunciation in, in, in Susan. It says, thanks. I'd, I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to, I'd love to, mm -hmm. I'd love to, that's another one, I'd love to, no, only one, I'd, I'd, okay, I'd love to, cool, thank you, Jose David and Luis Antonio.
Who is Dave? You can start. You are Dave, Jose. The soccer match on um, Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. At the at the eight. That's on. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, if light, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Oh, let's meet at the gate. That sounds fine. See you. See you there. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The first one is I'd love to, and the second one is I'd like to. And that's what we are going to practice, okay, later. But we are practicing the conversation right now. I'd love to, I'd like to. I'd love to, I'd like to. Mm -hmm. Someone else, more volunteers, Dave and Susan. Media. Someone else? Camila. Okay, Nidia, you are Dave. Camila, Susan. I have a get to this soccer match on Friday night. Would you like to go? Thanks. I'd love to. What time does it start? At eight. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I would like to, but I have it to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's just meet at the stadium before the match around seven thirty. Okay, let me at the gate. That sounds fine. See you there. Okay, good. Really good. Thank you. See you there. Someone else? Just in case someone wants to practice. No more. Okay. Okay. Uh, Doris, Emilia, now I need someone else. To practice with Doris. Okay, Jennifer. Doris, you are Dave, Jennifer, Susan. I have tickets to the soccer match on Friday night. Where would you like to go? Then, I love to what time does it start? At 8 o'clock. That sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd like to, but I have to work late. Oh, that's okay. Let's use me at the stadium. Coach. How do you say city media? 7.30. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, at 7. <laughs> that sounds fine. See you there. See you there. Good. Gate. What is gate? Gate, entrada, right? Nos vemos en la entrada. Gate. 
let's see If you notice in the conversation, they were inviting. Mm -hmm. So let's practice making, accepting, and declining an invitation. Invite someone. There you have different expressions to make invitations. Do you want to go to Metro Centro? For example, do you want to go to El Pital? Do you want to go to Pizza Hut? Do you want to visit a cathedral? Okay. Or want to come over? For dinner, want to come over for dinner, another expression, yes? How about coming over for dinner? Are you free on Saturday? And this is the one that there is, that we found in the conversation, right? Would, would you like to, do you remember the conversation? Would you like to go to a soccer match? Mm -hmm. And if you remember the expression or the abbreviation, uh, I'm going to write it later. I, you remember? I. Mm -hmm. So to make the invitation, you have this one. Would, would you like to, would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like to play soccer? Would you like to would you like to go to El Campero? Would you like to go to La Pampa? Yes. Would you like to come to my house for dinner? Would you like to come to my place for dinner? Would you like to come to my party? Mm -hmm. And this one's would be delighted to have you over for dinner. This is very formal. Would be delighted to have you over for dinner. Another one, very formal. I was wondering if you would like to come over for dinner. In this ones, and las dos últimas, la penúltima sería como. Eh, me encantaría tenerte de visita para la cena. Uh -huh. O la última. Eh, me pregunto si te gustaría venir para la cena. Ok. So there you have some phrases to make invitations. Teacher. Yes. How say um, ruedas o feria? Eh, feria podría ser fur, the fur, the fur, the fur. Eh, amusement park es como el parque de diversiones. Amusement. Amusement park. Uh, I'm going to write it. Let me see. Oh, Amu okay. Amusement. Amusement park. I'm going to write it here. Amusement park. Amusement park. Parque de diversiones. Mm -hmm. Amusement park. Okay, now let's go on. Response, response to an invitation. Como responder? 
a las invitaciones, a, la, a las anteriores, ¿no? Do you want to go to the soccer match? Accepting. Ok, that would be fine. That would be fine. Y si observan, siempre estamos con esa palabra del would. El would aparecía en la conversación que practicamos. Ok. So, ok, that would be fine. Yes, thanks. See you then. Of course. Sure. What time? I'd love to. Luego ahí tienen eso de I'd. I'd mm -hmm. love to. ¿Cuál es esa contracción de I'd? Ajá, exactly. La, ahí la forma completa sería I would. La palabra que hemos visto. Would. Ah, la de podría. Y... Mm -hmm. Así lo tomamos, pero esa, esa palabra de would por sí sola no tiene traducción. Eh, lo que hace la palabra de would, si la ponemos antes de un verbo, la palabra would sería como la terminación en español de ría. Por ejemplo, en la número uno donde Debería. dice donde dice would be, el verbo be es ser, pero al anteponerle la palabra would, ya se convierte en sería, o estaría, porque es también el verbo estar. Entonces dice, ok, okay eso estaría bien, that would be fine. Luego, eh, si la ponemos antes del verbo love, que love, en este caso se traduce como encantar, me encantaría, me encantaría, I'd love to. Si le ponemos el would antes del go, sería ir, iría, I would go, yo iría, I would go. Si lo ponemos antes del eat, que es comer, entonces sería comería, I would eat, yo comería, I would eat, ¿ok? Esa es la función de esa palabra de would. Entonces, hice, al abreviarla, es I'd. I'd love to. I'd love to. Me encantaría. I'd love to. Next. Oh, certainly. Thank you. The last one. Thank you very much. I'd be delighted to. Estaría encantada. I'd be delighted to. Refusing, para rehusarse. I'm sorry, I'm not free. Excuses, I'm sorry, I'm not free. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm busy then. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm or I am busy then. I'd love to, but I can't. Me encantaría, pero no puedo. I'd love to, but I can't. I want to, but I can't. Quisiera, pero no puedo. Tonight's not good. I have an appointment. I'm busy tonight. I'm busy tonight. Can I take a rain check on that? Those are excuses. Check these short examples. Henry mm -hmm, and Paul. Paul, I'm going to the cinema. Do you want to go to the cinema on Thursday with me? I'm sorry, I'm not free on that day. Mario and Sarah. Sarah, I like playing basketball. Would you like to come and play basketball on this Saturday? Oh, I'd love to. I'd love to. What time can be? Mm -hmm. And that's it. This is just practice, 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 practice. Okay? But I have more information. Comments? Questions? Teacher. Yes. O sea que 
según lo que explicó, solo para corroborar, confirmar bien, hay, no tiene una traducción por sí misma, es lo que dijo, ¿verdad? Sino que dependiendo del contexto, ahí se complementa. Yeah, exactly. Por sí solo eso no, mm -mm, no significa nada. Okay, but declining teacher, declinar, rechazar. Refuse, uh -huh, refuse, exactly, refuse. Mm -hmm. Refuse. Give me a sec. Okay, and there you have, right? There you have the expression, would you like to go? Would you like to go? Thanks, I'd love to. Mm -hmm. In this case, she accepts, Susan accepts. Thanks, I'd love to. What time does it start? And then Susan invites Day for dinner, I guess. It says, that sounds great. So, do you want to have dinner at six? Oh, I'd love to, but I have to work late. In this case, he refuses. He declines the invitation for dinner, right? So, any other comment or question? And there you have, with verb to verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. There's another one. Give me a sec. I'd like to, in this case, right? You refuse and you give excuses. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. And that's what we were talking, right? The contraction. I'd full, I would. I'd, I would. All right. In this case, we have respond to three invitations. Then write three invitations for the given responses. Okay, let me move this. Mm -hmm. So, number one says, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go? I'm going to read it, okay? Just listen, because we're going to do something here. Number two says, would you like to come over for dinner? Oh, would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Number three, would you like to go to a pop concert with me this evening? Right? Now we are going to do this. I'm going to choose three of you. What I want you to do right now is read the invitations in one, two, and three, and think about a response. Accepting or refusing, okay? Think about, think about your answer. Or you accept or you refuse, okay? Piensen en las tres, okay? 
o aceptar o rehusar. Pero luego yo, yo voy a hacer la invitación a alguien y ustedes me van a responder aceptando o rehusando. Pero denme una excusa bonita, creíble. Oh, I'd love to, but I need to practice English. Esa sería una. I'd love to, but I need to work on the platform tonight. Good excuses. Hello? What? Ready? Can you repeat the question, please? Mm, the task. No. I mean, um, I, eh, tiene que pensar en cual, bueno, en las tres. Piensa en una respuesta para cada una de las tres invitaciones. Pueden aceptar o pueden rehusar. Si aceptan, pueden usar alguna de esas frases. ¿Ok? Pero si aceptan, podría ser no. Eh, yes, I'd love to. What time is the baseball game? Hmm? Something extra. If you refuse, si se rehusan, me van a dar una excusa bonita, aceptable, creíble. Uh, I for have to work late. That can be. I'm sorry. Oh, usual, si observan en, en la parte donde se rehusan, Observen bien. Yo creo que en español no lo hacemos así. Pero tiene dos, dos partes, miren, donde uno, donde se rehúsa. Primero dice, I'd like to. I'd like to. Me encantaría. Pero, luego viene el pero. But I have to work late. I'd love to. Me encantaría. Pero el viernes tengo clases porque el teacher no la dio ayer. Okay, ready. Los viernes ya no vamos a salir el viernes. Okay, let's see. I'm going to invite. Um, the baseball game. Okay, for this one, I'm going to invite. A una soltera porque no vaya a ser. <laughs> Aunque no sé quién es tan soltero. Let's see. Camila, Camila is single. Hello, Camila, Lisette. Uh, Camila, I have tickets to the baseball game on Saturday. Would you like to go with me? Um, I love to. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Yo creí que me iba a poner el pero después. I love to. Mm -hmm. No, pero les había dicho, si aceptan, me hacen una pregunta. ¿Y a qué horas es? ¿Dónde nos reunimos? ¿A qué hora nos vemos? Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's good. I love to. I love to. Or you can say, yes, I love to go. Mm -hmm. I love to go. Cool. Okay. Good. The first. Um, comments, questions? No. Okay. So, next invitation. Dinner. Dinner. I can invite us in a dinner.
De nuevo. Pero según veo, no, no soy el único con problemas. Se están escribiendo ahí a los chats, a los distintos grupos que están teniendo problemas. Con Zoom. Ok. Dinner, dinner. Dinner, dinner. Ok, I'm going to invite. Como les digo, utilizo las cámaras. Quienes tienen cámara son los que se me presentan. So, eh, ok, Paulina. Let's see, Paulina. Y teacher, yo le hacía la pregunta de que si se puede responder como no thank I don't like baseball como no gracias no me gusta el baseball Yes aunque se escuche rudo no gracias no me gusta el Yeah, but can be um, you can say I'd love to I'd love to but honestly I don't like baseball. So, uh, ponerle así no bonito. I'd love to, but I prefer soccer. I don't like baseball. Mm -hmm. No, but that's okay. No, thanks. I don't like baseball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Um, hello, Paulina. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Oh, yes, I, I'd love to. Cool. Do you like Chinese food? Oh, it's just for me. I... I... Es que ya no logro ver, ya no logro ver otra vez la idea de aquí arriba. <laughs> la pensaba leer. Ok. But I love, to, thank you. <laughs> ok, cool. I, thank you. Yes, I really like to go. Perfect. Ok, next. Let's see. Nidia. Would you like to a pop concert with me this weekend? Yes, I love to. Mm, I love pop. Cool. So, see you then. Okay. Now, the second part, number four, number five, and number six. In this case, you have to make the invitation, okay? According to, let's see here. Uh -huh. It says, um, okay, so invitations. Volunteer, number four. Who wants to invite someone in the class? Me. Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm going to invite you. Okay, cool. I'm going to go to the San Miguel's Carnival. Would you like to go with me? I really like to go. I have always wanted to visit San Miguel for the carnival. Thank you very much for the invitation. That's great. Number Do you like? Mm -hmm. Would you like? 
to go in the beach on Friday? Friday. Well, I'd like to, but I have to work. Thank you for the invitation. Number six. Paulina? Oh, teacher, I have two tickets for the theater on, on Friday. Would you like to come with me? Yes, thank you. I'd really like to see it. Si es en el teatro, puede ser una obra. To see it. I'd really like to see it. Cool. Thank you for the invitation. More invitations? Nidia? Pueden invitar a alguien de la clase a ver cómo les responde. Would you like to go with me to the soccer game on Saturday? My son will be playing. Hey, great. I like soccer. I love to. Thank you very much. Okay. Someone else? No more invitations. Luis Antonio, you can invite someone. You can invite. No, Camila va a salir conmigo, así que invita a alguien. Man. Carla Castillo, Liliana, Jenny. So, eh, how do you say escalar? Como por ejemplo, eh, subir a un volcán. Climb. Climb. Mm -hmm. You can say, would you like to go? Would you like to go climb Ben with me? Or um, would you like to climb Isalco's volcano on Saturday? Uh, climb. Yes. Uh, my question is for uh, David. Okay. Uh -huh. mi, David. Mi invitación. <laughs> David Ramirez. Listen, David. David, would you like to go to climb the volcano in La Matepec? Se durmió David. Se durmió. <laughs> I am Ramirez. I am Rodriguez. Sorry. <laughs> Perdón. Okay. Yes, I love to. I, yes, I, I love to. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I, my seat is. Someone else? More invitations? Teacher, how do you say lo que coloquialmente llamamos como toreada? I don't know if, if you know. Mm. Oh, or if have you ever listened sí, about sí. it? O podría ser jaripeo, no. Ajá, jaripeo, autoridad. Eh? I don't know how, how do you say it in English. But. Cattle fur. For the cattle fur. I'm going to write cattle, cattle fur. Let me write it here. Um, no sé, poniéndolo como feria, caro, 
Carol. Yeah. Es como feria de, de, de ganado, Carol Fur. Ok, make the invitation. Yes. I don't know if you know, but here in Samuel we have we have it. Mm -hmm. So would you love would you like to go to the cattle fair? Not me. Or someone in the class. You, you teacher. Yes, I'd really like to go. I like it. Thank you very much for inviting me. More invitations. Do you like pupusas? I do. Oh, I invite you to dinner this Friday after class. Great, that would be nice. Thank you. Pero de camarón. Okay. Yes. More invitations? Yes. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver. Jennifer Portilla, would you like to go to eat pupusas with me this weekend? Yes, I like. I'd like to. I like to. To eat pupusas. <laughs> Great. You see? I love pupusas. <laughs> cool. Aha. Nice. One more. The last one. Me teacher. Luis, okay. To Hazel. Okay. I have a ticket to watch Captain Marvel on Sunday. Would you like to go with me? Yes. I'd love to. Wee. Nice. That was the last one. Cool. Comments? No, but we are not Pozos de ellas por estar haciendo invitaciones. Fíjense. Lo, pen, lo pensé, pero dije yo mejor no digo nada. Porque... Es, es para la práctica, díganle que es para sí. la práctica. Ya a ver si están oyendo. Y... ¿Cómo que vas a salir con tal Luis? Ya. No, estamos en clase, muchachos. No, no se preocupen. It's practice, only practice. Okay, uh, attendance. Listen, please. Alma Patricia. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Ana Guadalupe. Ana Lisset. Camila Lisset. I'm here. Cristiana Dalberto. Presente. Diana Beatriz. Doris Emilia. Presente. Estela Marisol. Presente. Eva Alicia. Presente. Griselda de la Paz. Presente. Herbert. Gerardo. I'm here, teacher. Hazel Nayeli. Present, teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Jose David. 
Present teacher. Jose Luis. Present teacher. Joshua. Teacher. Okay. Carla Patricia. I'm here. Katia Veronica. Present teacher. Liliana Laura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Luis Antonio. Here teacher. Nidia Yamilex. Present teacher. Nuria Mayeli. Oswaldo Stanley. Present. Paulina Viñas. Present, Mr. Rosa Irma. Present, teacher. Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Sarina Susana. Present. Okay. And Sonia Dolores. I'm here, teacher. And Tatiana Maria. No more. Okay. Any comment? Any question? We have still two minutes, I guess. No. Would you help us with our pronunciation? Which one? Which pronoun? To get no to get better pronunciation? No. Para mejorar? To improve. <laughs> to improve our pronunciation? To improve. Um... Okay, in this case, I mean, what you have to do to improve pronunciation is exactly what you do. Read, repeat words. Okay, first, you have to listen. You have to listen and you have to repeat. Listen, repeat, listen, repeat. That's the best way to practice pronunciation yes um, listen and repeat el caso digamos con quienes no participan o practican la, las, las conversaciones a veces yo hago la broma no sé si lo he comentado con ustedes que alguien uh, no 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 participo, pero aquí la estoy leyendo y la leemos acá. Y, y no sé si ustedes han visto los memes que dicen el inglés en mi cabeza es súper bueno. Pero cuando nosotros lo leemos mentalmente, creemos que lo estamos pronunciando bien. Cualquier lectura en inglés es preferible hacerla en voz alta. En voz alta para acostumbrar los sonidos. Hay muchos sonidos que no los tenemos en español. Eh, y la mejor forma de practicar o mejorar la pronunciación es esa, escuchar y repetir, escuchar, repetir. Uh -huh. Y por eso mismo las, eh, si se acuerdan un día de esto, estuvimos practicando la entonación de las preguntas. Eso es lo que se debe de hacer. Eh, si son palabras nuevas, Obviamente, si es nuevo, uno buscarlo. En, en Google, eh, escribe la palabra, digamos, ¿qué palabra? Would. Por ejemplo, la que estuvimos ahorita practicando. Ponemos would en, en el buscador, would y pronunciation. Y ahí les aparece hasta una figura de, de labios, boca, pronunciando la palabra. 
That's the way. Repetition is important. Mm -hmm. Thank okay, you. Okay, yes. And time is over. Thank you for attending your class. Thank you for your participation. And uh, thank you for your work on the platform. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone.